Hi everyone, this is Sean, Bid for Assets Marketing Manager. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to obtain deposit instructions for a public auction hosted on Bid for Assets. Most government sales on Bid for Assets, whether they are tax sales, sheriff sales, or some other kind of public auction, will require bidders to submit a bid deposit to qualify for participation. The deposit amount for each sale will be set by the government agency conducting that sale before it goes live on Bid for Assets. Deposits should be sent directly to Bid for Assets, and there are currently two ways to submit them. Those are certified check and wire transfer. Deposit instructions for any Bid for Assets auction can be obtained directly from the website, which is what we'll be showing you how to do in this video. So let's get started. Now, to begin the process, you'll need to go to the landing page for whichever tax sale or sheriff sale you are currently interested in. There are several ways that you can do this from the Bid for Assets homepage, but the easiest will be to select the tax sale and sheriff sale banner here over to the right of the map. For the purposes of this video, we'll examine the process of obtaining deposit instructions for a county tax sale though the process of doing so for a sheriff sale will be very similar. Now, selecting the county tax sales banner over here to the right will take you to our tax sale calendar, which displays all of the tax sales currently coming up on Bid for Assets. Clicking any of the hyperlinked counties on this list will take you to that county's landing page, which contains important auction dates, property lists, and a ton of other important information including deposit instructions. So in the deposit folder, located below the important date section of any tax sale landing page, you will see a clear orange button, which reads, click here for deposit instructions. This is obviously what you wanna select in order to continue. But before we move on, I wanna mention a couple of important points. First, you only need to submit one bid deposit in order to qualify for bidding on every auction available in a given county's tax sale. Whether that tax sale has one property or 100 properties, you only need to submit one bid deposit and you can bid on as many properties available in that sale as you would like to. Second, your bid deposit is county specific, meaning if there's another county tax sale you would like to bid in, you'll need to submit a new bid deposit specifically for that county's tax sale. So the rule's pretty straightforward. One deposit for one county, but that deposit allows you to bid on everything in that county's tax sale. So like I said, with that in mind, you wanna select click here for deposit instructions to proceed. Now, if this is your first time submitting a deposit with Bid for Assets, you will need to provide your social security number in order to proceed. Bid for Assets is under federal requirement to collect this data by the U.S. Patriot Act. The information is encrypted and stored by a highly secure third-party company. Bid for Assets does not sell or trade contact information under any circumstances, so your number will remain private and secure. Enter it and then select Continue in order to proceed to this screen. If you're bidding, by the way, as a non-U.S. citizen, you will need to contact Bid for Assets customer service directly for instructions on how to proceed without a Social Security number. Now, with this screen, many tax sales will require you to provide pre-vesting information. This allows you to notify the county how you'd like any properties that you win in the tax sale to be titled. You'll be able to change this information after the sale has ended should you win any property. If you win multiple properties and you wish to have separate titling information for each of them, that's also something that you'll be able to do during settlement after all bidding has concluded. For now, just fill this section out with preliminary information to continue. After you've entered your social security number and vesting information, you'll be taken to this screen. Here, you'll be prompted to choose either certified check or wire transfer as your deposit method. Make sure that you're utilizing one of these methods to submit your deposit. You should never, under any circumstances, do a direct deposit into Bid for Assets account. 
Doing so will prevent you from being able to participate in tax sales in this tax sale, and it will dramatically increase the amount of time it takes to return your deposit funds to you. So once again, make sure that either wire transfer or certified check is the method that you use to submit a deposit. Once you've selected your method and you've agreed to the tax sales terms of service, go ahead and click continue once again to proceed to the next screen. And this screen will be the deposit instructions themselves. This will provide you with all of the information that you need to submit a deposit. It gives you bid for assets bank name, our routing number, et cetera. We generally recommend just printing this page out, taking it with you to the bank, and allowing the bank to submit your deposit for you. And before we move on from this page, pay special attention to the reference slash additional information for bid for assets section. Uh, that's where you will find your user ID number and the deposit ID number for the specific sale that you are submitting a deposit for. It's very important that both of these numbers go on your deposit. Your user ID number lets bid for assets know who the deposit is coming to us from, and the deposit ID number lets us know which tax sale it should be applied to. So again, make sure that both of those numbers appear on your deposit. It's very important. Once all this info is in place, just go ahead back to the bottom of this screen and select continue to proceed once again. You'll be taken back to the tax sale landing page where you'll see a message displayed reading, you will be notified via message center when your deposit has been processed. At this point, your deposit is considered initialized, meaning bid for assets knows to expect a deposit from you within the next few days. One final thing that I want to mention here is the deposit deadline. This indicates when bid for assets must receive your deposit by in order to guarantee your participation in the tax sale. You can find it here on the storefront listed underneath of the important dates section. While bid for assets does continue to process new deposits past the deadline, we can no longer guarantee your participation if you submit a deposit past that date. It generally takes up to two business days to process a wire transfer after we've received it, and up to three business days to process a certified check. To ensure your participation in a tax sale, be mindful of the deposit deadline and be sure to get yours to us before it expires. You can keep up to date with Bid for Assets' latest tax sales and their deposit deadlines by signing up for our tax sale email alert, which goes out every Wednesday and is designed to keep bidders in the loop on the latest tax sale opportunities available here on Bid for Assets. All that said, we hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any further questions about the deposit process, I encourage you to get in touch with our customer service team via phone or email. Thank you again for watching, and we wish you all the absolute best of luck in your next auction on Bid for Assets. Take care.